Yeah, good evening students. Up to now, we finished third, fourth, fifth activities. Now, we are going to discuss the sixth activity. In that, we are going to know some of the permanent and temporary changes, some of the slow and fast changes, and some of the man-made and natural changes. We are going to find all there is a tabular uh, form of uh, information is there in that some of the changes are given that we are going to identify which are slow which are fast which are uh, permanent and which are temporary which are uh, natural and which are man-made all these three categorizations we are going to find in the tabular form so our activity number is six we are going to discuss about uh, categorizing changes so activity six number is six so our activity is categorizing categorizing changes so this is our content now we are going to discuss categorizing changes for this we need to draw a table in the total information we want to write so now i am going to draw this table okay so for that i am going to draw this here one after one i am going to explain clearly but i am going to write small letters because there is a big table is there it is not sufficient to write all the information i think the day this board <coughs> first serial number serial number second one change change let me write with the blue pen it is somewhat clear okay next we are going to discuss about natural natural in that natural man made man made natural or man made temporary temporary or permanent permanent Next, we are going to discuss change state changes the state changes the shape. So here, in this, I am going to write state shape. So there is no space, so that's what I wrote state and shape. So the first one, what we are going to discuss here, the first one which is given here. Changing milk from curd. Milk to curd. A short form I am going to write. Milk to curd. So is it man-made or natural? First it is a man-made. Temporary or permanent? Permanent change. State and shape also changing. So that's what put the right marks. So here this is the first one completed. So here milk convert into curd it is man-made activity it is permanent change state of the milk when it changes as a curd and shape of also shape also going to change so that's what the state shape changes when milk convert into curd the second thing we are going to discuss here what is the second thing changing seasons seasons so for all you can write changes seasons natural it is temporary no state is there no shape is there for that so this is about seasons next we are going to discuss about what is that changes of ice into water water into ice okay ice to water ice to water water to ice. So,
so here ice to water water to ice in nature occur man made activities also is there it is temporary change state and shape also changes state and the shape also changes look once i am going to explain this three milk man made activity temporary or permanent milk to curd that is a permanent shape and state changes the second seasons natural Na in the nature it naturally occur it is temporary change again because it changes so ice to water water to ice man made and nature natural both occurs temporary shape and state also going to change the fourth one we have already discuss fourth one is <coughs> rusting of iron rusting of iron this is a fourth one this is a fourth one what is given here so if it is not sufficient i am going to read just i am going to put when you are listening just you can complete your textbook with the pencil while you are listening so fifth one is fourth one is rusting of iron is it permanent change or natural change first it is a natural change and it is a permanent change so in the nature it occurs naturally it will not come back so that's what it is a permanent change state shape will not change will not change so sometimes state uh, state and shape also changes because due to rusting that uh, iron becomes uh, uh, some breaks we will see that will break and uh, it is going to collapse so that is the reason state is going to change and shape also going to change next we are going to discuss about <clears throat> the fifth one growth in plants so growth in plants natural change permanent change shape or state is also going to change when the new branches uh, when it is growing the shape and state state that is same state only but the structure is going to change so sixth one is what is the sixth one rice to cooked rice rice to cooked rice so man made permanent state shapes also changing so here six i wrote remaining four i am going to explain to you so like this you are going to fill all this table which is given in our textbook you have to read and write so here melting of ice cream that is a melting of ice cream natural temporary state change and shape also changes melting of ice cream the eighth one boiling egg man made permanent changes state changes shape will not change egg shape will not change but in that egg earlier it was raw at the time liquid is there when we boil that change as semi solid so shape will not change state will change so that's what the ninth one electric bulb on and off so man made activity temporary change so states will not change so that is the reason shape will not change the last one is changes in touch may not plant when we touch so that may be occur in nature naturally or man made activity it is a temporary change state and uh, shape will not change shape will change when we touch that state will not change remember shape will change because the leaves can get the wrinkles it will fold after some time it will open the leaves of the touch may not plant so that's what the shape is going to change state will not change but it is a temporary change so that may occur in the nature naturally or somebody's man made activity maybe so like this all this table you have to fill in our textbook so in this some are natural some are man made some are temporary some are permanent so some are slow and fast also that we want to classify afterwards whatever the tables are we given in our textbook so once you see that how many changes are how many changes are natural there are six natural changes are there you count and write next how many 
are man made changes so how many are man made so man made also 6 how many changes are temporary 5 how many changes are permanent so temporary 5 permanent 5 man made 5 natural sorry man made 6 natural 6 then how many changes are slow so almost all changes are slow except to changing switch on of bulb that is fast change remaining are slow changes remaining all slow changes so like that you want to find whatever we fill in this table in that some are slow some are fast some are natural some are man-made some are permanent and some are temporary so you can classify and you fill all this information in table 5 6 and 7 so in that so every table three three examples we want to write the first table table 5 what is given here serial number change fast or slow so changes fast change or slow change so you can write any three changes which are fast or slow one is fast only that is bulb when we put on and put off remaining all slow changes that we can write the sixth table which is serial number permanent and temporary changes so <clears throat> boiling egg uh, boiling rice curd formation permanent season changes those are temporary ice melt into water water into ice that is temporary so the these are the temporary and uh, some are permanent from that we can collect the next last table which is the seventh one so what is the seventh one serial number natural changes and man-made changes seasons are natural changes okay rusting of iron natural changes touch me not plant uh, natural it can uh, shows the response to the stimulations in the nature so remaining all man-made curd formation boiling of rice boiling of egg these are man-made activities like that from this table you can collect slow fast natural man-made temporary permanent so these are all we will get from this table you can fill in the three tables you can complete all the information okay mm, next what we are going to discuss here the total lesson completed in this what we have learnt up to now what is the conclusion of this chapter so changes around us around us some of the changes are going to happen those changes are categorized slow fast permanent and temporary natural and man-made so like this there is a categorization we can find all the changes and we will classify them as a slow fast or temporary permanent or natural or man-made so this is the total chapter changes around us you can observe all the changes around you surrounding areas so you will find some more examples you can write whether those are slow changes or fast changes whether those are natural or man-made whether those are permanent or temporary changes so then which are useful to know those examples you can use in your examination to write so almost all lesson completed so tomorrow we are going to start the new chapter so you read all this lesson you watch all these videos and you can uh, write your classwork as early as so this is the total chapter next we will discuss in the next chapter